Greetings and welcome to History Unfolded, where we delve into the most fascinating aspects of world history. Today, we're going to delve into the fascinating world of World War II and look at some of the best German generals that led the country's army during the war. World War II was a global conflict that lasted from 1939 to 1945. It was one of the greatest and deadliest wars in history, and the German military was one of the key players in this conflict. Germany was so successful in the first two years that it came dangerously close to achieving its goal of establishing European hegemony. However, its victories were not part of a long-term strategy that ensured victory. Despite this, the initial successes were spectacular. The German army, also known as the Wehrmacht, was one of the most powerful and well-trained military forces in the world at the time. It was led by a number of talented and experienced generals, who played a crucial role in the success of the German army in the early stages of the war. But who were the best among them? So, let's start by looking at some of the best German generals of World War II. Number 1, Erwin Rommel, also known as the Desert Fox. Rommel was a legendary general and brilliant tactician who led the German Africa Corps in the North African Campaign and was responsible for several decisive victories against the British forces in the Desert Campaign. He was known for his unorthodox and innovative tactics and quick and daring moves, which kept the Allies guessing and off-balance. Rommel's leadership and tactical brilliance earned him the respect of both his enemies and his own soldiers. Despite his success, Rommel eventually fell out of favor with Hitler and was forced to take his own life. Number 2, Erich von Monstein Monstein was a German field marshal of the Wehrmacht during the Second World War, a highly intelligent and capable commander who played a key role in the German victories in the early years of the war. He was known for his innovative tactics, and his leadership was instrumental in the German victory at the Battle of Kursk, one of the largest tank battles in history. He came up with the Monstein plan, which led to the greatest military maneuver in history, how the great France was conquered in six weeks. He also breached the world's most fortified city during the siege of Sevastopol. Finally, he encircled a much greater army at the Third Battle of Kharkiv. He also won at the Battle of the Kerch Peninsula. Despite his successes, in March 1944, Monstein was eventually relieved of his command due to disagreements with Hitler over military strategy. Number 3, Heinz Guderian General Heinz Guderian was one of the most capable and brilliant military minds of World War II. He was the mastermind behind Germany's successful blitzkrieg tactics, which combined the use of tanks, armored vehicles, and air power to quickly overwhelm enemy defenses. Guderian's tactics were instrumental in the early victories of Germany in the war, such as the fall of France and the conquest of Poland. He was a fearless leader who was not afraid to take bold and calculated risks on the battlefield, and his tactical prowess earned him the nickname the father of blitzkrieg. Despite facing opposition from other high-ranking military officials and Hitler himself, Guderian continued to push the limits of modern warfare and leave a lasting impact on the way wars are fought to this day. Number 4, Gerd von Rundstedt Next, we have General Gerd von Rundstedt, who was one of the most experienced German generals of World War II. He served as the commander-in-chief of the German armed forces in the West and was instrumental in the success of the German army during the invasion of France in 1940. Von Rundstedt was known for his tactical expertise and strategic insight, which helped him to lead the German army to several victories. Number 5, Walter Model. Another prominent German general and one of Hitler's favorite commanders was Walter Model. He served as a field commander on the Eastern Front and was known for his defensive tactics and leadership skills. Model was responsible for several successful defensive operations against the Soviet Army, including the Battle of Kursk, 
which was one of the largest armored engagements in the history of warfare. Despite facing overwhelming odds, Model managed to hold off the Soviet advance and keep the front line stable. Model was unable to stop the eventual defeat of the German army in the east. Number 6, Franz Halder. Franz Halder was another important German general, who, in spite of his personal opposition to the policies of Adolf Hitler, served as chief of the army general staff from 1938 to 1942 during the period of Germany's greatest military victories. He was instrumental in the planning and execution of several major offensives, including the invasions of Poland, France, and the Soviet Union. Halder was known for his strategic insight and ability to coordinate the various branches of the German army, which helped to ensure the success. Number 7, Albert Kesselring. General Albert Kesselring was a legendary military commander who played a crucial role in the German war effort during World War II. Known for his strategic prowess and tactical brilliance, Kesselring was responsible for overseeing the German forces in the Mediterranean theater, where he masterfully managed a series of successful campaigns, including the occupation of Italy. He was also instrumental in the defense of Germany's Western Front, where his innovative tactics and determined leadership helped to hold back the Allies for several crucial months. Despite facing overwhelming odds and being outnumbered, Kesselring never wavered in his resolve and was admired by both friend and foe for his tactical genius and unwavering leadership under fire. He remains one of the most celebrated military leaders in German history and his legacy continues to inspire military strategists to this day. Number 8, Gotthard Heinrichsai. Gotthard Fedor August Heinrichsai was a German general during World War II. Heinrichsai is considered as the premier defensive expert of the Wehrmacht. His final command was Army Group Vistula, formed from the remnants of Army Group A and Army Group Center to defend Berlin from the Soviet armies advancing from the Vistula River. Despite facing overwhelming odds and intense resistance, Heinrichsai and his troops held their ground and managed to slow the Soviet advance, buying valuable time for the German forces. Number 9, Wilhelm Keitel. Last but not least, we have General Wilhelm Keitel. Keitel served as the Chief of the Armed Forces High Command and was responsible for coordinating the efforts of the German Army, Navy, and Air Force. He played a key role in the implementation of the Blitzkrieg tactics, which were used to great effect in the early stages of the war. Despite facing criticism for his leadership style and lack of tactical expertise, Keitel was instrumental in maintaining the unity and cohesion of the German armed forces throughout the war. In conclusion, the German generals of World War II were some of the most talented and experienced military leaders of their time. Despite facing immense challenges and difficulties, they fought on with determination and courage, and their legacy continues to be remembered and studied to this day. They were instrumental in shaping the outcome of the war, and their contributions to the conflict will always be remembered as a significant part of the history of World War II. Thank you for joining us on this journey through history. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more great content. Until next time, goodbye.